Whoopsie. What's up guys, Rich Bash out here in the shop again with my X-Max 8S. The weather's horrible outside. We have another storm system in progress. Probably gonna have some high winds today. Definitely some rain is what it is. It's my day off, so I'm gonna get out and bash. I will say so far, this truck is super fun. It's light, it flicks around pretty nice. It doesn't have the best handling, but everyone understands that. Some guys call this the world's strongest truck and that may be the case for them. I just wanna share some feedback in my first four bashes. As many of you guys are aware, M2C Racing, Mitch and Avery Looper have stepped in to try and improve some key weak points on this model. We're still getting the O-ring Delrin pistons tuned. We've got the center drive shaft and testing right now. We're probably going to go with steel drive shafts. They're working on hex extenders to make the truck about an inch, maybe two inches wider, which would be huge for this platform. This is definitely a super fun platform, guys. I think it's great for moderate bashing, but I just want to share some feedback, some personal experience with the truck thus far. I will definitely say this sucker is durable for moderate bashing, but for hardcore, absolutely pushing things to the limit, this platform definitely has its limitations. Here's another shot of my original chassis, guys, but you'll see it definitely busted apart. This was my second full run with the truck. Here's a scan of the parts I had to replace, guys, after my last bash. You'll notice my bulkhead, my rear diff housing pretty much imploded. I'm really surprised that they made this so thin and flexible. I've got a hot racing one. Hopefully it'll show up from Amazon Prime here in the next day or so. As I dive deeper into the repair, guys, I noticed that this bottom plate, basically it's like a tie plate. And it's got a pretty important job. It kind of secures your suspension plates and your suspension mounts. Unfortunately, the chassis itself pretty much failed right there in the back around the same place of where that plate ties in. You'll see if I crank on this hard enough that pretty much the entire rear end was just able to shift around left to right. You'll also notice this top gear cover housing essentially covers kind of the center diff and the rear. Unfortunately, this has got a big split in it. It's kind of hard to see with the naked eye, but there's another split in the front. And if I fulcrum on this, this whole thing will kind of twist upward. Just to make this clear, guys, I'm not complaining one bit. I love wrenching. I love working on these trucks. Just wanted to kind of illustrate some of the brakes in the truck. I just want to kind of share what happened. Some of this stuff you don't really pick up on right away because the truck's still running and it appears to be in one piece. The other thing is I like to understand why parts break and if there's anything that can be done about it. I went ahead and also ordered a hot racing aluminum replacement for this. Hopefully between this and the housing, I'll have better luck with the back end of the truck. Overall, plastic parts are great. They're light and flexible. Unfortunately, when they fail, that's pretty much it. Unfortunately, at this point, three other guys on the test team have also had chassis failures. Mitch and Avery with M2C are talking about designing a skid that'll essentially tie all three sections of the truck together. So if you guys watched my last video, my last skate park bash, basically I was having some binding in my gears. Big props to my brother, Thomas P. He was spot on. He told me that I probably had a really slight bend in my spur shaft that ties into the idler gear. I went ahead and swapped on a new 50 tooth spur. My other one was starting to have a little bit of wear. Put a new shaft on and you'll see there's absolutely no catching, no hanging up now. So despite the crappy weather and the high winds, I'm gonna go ahead and put another test on these pistons. Hopefully we'll get the testing wrapped up here soon and get these out available on the website. Also wanna get a nice run on the new center drive shaft.
whoops. I think I lost a little traction coming up that face. A little mishap. Well guys, I want to give another huge shout out to Mitch and Every Looper for the constant innovation. So far my center drive shaft's doing great. You'll hear the trucks nice and smooth. Another big thanks to Thomas P, my good brother. I couldn't notice with the bare eye, but apparently it had just a tiny, tiny little bend in it. See, well, there's a durability test. That is definitely a nasty thing to hang up on right there. <laughs> well, I'm impressed that at least the truck's in one piece. My body's got a little bit more damage for sure. Oh, well. Yeah, it looks like it's cracked at the rear of the skid plate there, but most of the chassis is in one piece. The truck still looks straight, so. Oh, yeah, those tires are coming off. <laughs> Here's a better close-up. You'll see my bell crank's got a good crack in it. The truck's still driving, still steers. I also have a crack. It looks like in my front tower, right where it connects at the upper A-arm. And I'm guessing this got punctured by one of those spikes on that fence. Center shaft is still super smooth, so big hats off to Mitch and Avery Looper for that. Super stoked for all these upgrades, guys. Again, the truck's gonna end up being a little bit wider with their hexes, so keep an eye out for those. All right, guys, I put the Copperhead 2s on here. These add probably 600 grams over the stock tires. Just as a heads up, guys, these armor rims will actually kind of rob a little mark in both your toe link and upper arm, unless you're running like hex extenders. One of the steering posts are cracked, so we'll see how long this lasts. Ooh. Drive train's taking it, guys. I'm just losing my steering pretty bad.
think that's it guys. I'm losing steering like really bad. All right guys, that's it. I have like no steering on that left side. So again, the truck held up really well overall guys. It's just time to kind of call it quits. So glad I could get some solid M2C testing in today. And big hats off to Mitch and Avery for their constant innovation. All right guys, until next time. Bye. Oh, whoopsie.